Hey YouTube, so you're looking for a sleeping bag. Don't want to spend a lot of money and you might just happen to be at Walmart. So you look at the uh, on the shelf there and you see this uh, Ozark Trail outdoor equipment 30 to 50 degree sleeping bag for cool weather. So you wonder, hmm, four pounds fits a full grown adult made in the USA with some imported parts but it's a big daggone sleeping bag this thing is massive just to compare it with my freaking monster feet this thing is humongous i mean i wear extra large gloves and this thing is very large now you look a little further uh these are a little bit harder to find recently at least for me in my area but you find this other ozark trail it says cool weather 40 degrees which is right in the middle of this comfort rating that it says on the other one of 30 to 50. And you're like, how can that be? Let me just show you how much smaller this is. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually comical because it's so small comparatively. It's in a stuff sack, but I'm not even cinching it down that much in the stuff sack. And uh, as you can see, it's, <laughs> it's freaking small. How is this possible for about the same price that you uh, have the same temperature and comfort rating but it's such a different uh, size and uh, the small ones have to wait i'd say uh, probably at least a third or a fourth of the yeah probably a fourth of the size wow so what's the difference i mean are they using totally different materials no they, they're both using a uh, polyester fill now, the only thing I can say that is a little different, though, and it could just be the type of polyester fill. Maybe it's uh, the way that it's put together. It's called Climatech, and that's not mentioned on the other one. So on this smaller one, it's using a Climatech fiber for added warmth, comfort, and durability. Anti-wet and lightweight, two-way anti-snag zippers, full surround neck, baffle, inside pocket as well. Oh, uh, man. So... I don't know what to think uh, about all this. Um, so you can see this here. On the smaller one, it says all new materials consisting of 100% polyester fiber. And uh, you can see the shell is 100% poly polyester and the lining and the filling is as well. Now, if we go on the, um, the larger one, uh, we will see that that too is 100% fiber rating. Uh, bat, uh, batting in the fiber and uh, it's just there's a lot more of it in here but it's a monster just a monster so for car uh, car camping maybe the big one since you don't have to carry it anywhere that would be okay because you're probably going to get a lot more um, at least a little more insulation I would imagine from the ground or from the vehicle and uh, more cushion because there's just less mass and material on the smaller one. But at the same time for camping, this is perfect for camping. This is this is sweet. I mean, we're talking about 1.96 pounds overall. Uh, excellent. And the comfort rating is around 40 degrees. You could probably add 10 to 20 degrees by just wearing warm clothes inside your bag. And on top of that, uh, providing a good, uh, you know, tent shelter or tarp shelter mixed in with maybe even a reflective blanket underneath of your um, sleeping bag to repel cold off of you. Uh, you could even wrap yourself in a, uh, a sportsman um, outdoor blanket uh, on top of that, or if you had a wool blanket to wrap up and then insert yourself into the sleeping bag, I'm sure you could get down to uh, 25 to 30 degrees without having any kind of major uh, problems. But it's interesting. It's interesting because I see a lot of people grab these big ones and I'm not saying you couldn't take this sleeping bag out of this container and put it in a sense uh, sack or some type of stuff sack and make it a little bit smaller. But it's not going to be much smaller. Um, I have a hard enough time trying to get it into uh, this container that it comes with. So um, just want to let you guys know and aware of this. That it basically has pretty much the same comfort rating. But there's a two pound difference and almost no cost difference. Now, I will say that this was uh, on clearance, which you don't always see things on clearance at Walmart. They don't really typically have what you call sales. They just either have a clearance or whatnot. 
So I don't know if they're continuing to sell these. I can't find them in my area. Hopefully that, they're, that they still make them. But um, these are also uh, designed so that you can zip the bag open and connect other bags so you can double the bags. Uh, and I made sure to get the mummy version on this one. Uh, this other one is not a mummy version. It's just kind of like a, uh, you know, uh, a rectangle type of uh, design, uh, all squared out. But the mummy one is much better. I recommend that one over any other type of design. But, uh, wow. So you could double up on this one and make it a big, big bag for two people. Maybe even three, uh, depending on the size of your person. But just thought I'd mention this. It's, it's very interesting. So um, just want to your, your thoughts about the Ozark Trail brand and about these two sizes, if you have experience with these. I don't have any real experience with the small one. I just kind of had it in, you know, in a pack. And I'll have to try it out, you know, when it gets cooler in the fall. But the larger one I have tried out. It, it seems adequate and everything. It's just very bulky. Definitely something you wouldn't want to bring on a camping trip. It's just way too big and too heavy. Four pounds. Four pounds is too much. Two to three pounds is kind of the upper limit, in my personal opinion, for a, a packable sleeping bag. So with that being uh, said, I just would like to um, you know invite all comments, and uh, I will catch you guys later. Thanks.